yeah, I was really, really stoked about th trying out that uh, Mabel Cask finished rye from uh, West Bottoms Whiskey Company. But um, now that we decided to make a uh, make an old fashioned out of it, that's really looking forward to that too. Taking it up a notch. Yeah, absolutely. You, you drop the Demerara down a notch. But, um, I mean, just fucking look at this thing. Would you just look at it? <laughs> just look at it. <laughs> Cheers, sir. So good. Cheers. Come Man. on. Come on. This is. This Come is good. on. This will give actual West Bottoms Whiskey Company parlor. A run for their money on this one. I hope and want to believe they make their own simple syrups, but yeah, if they don't, well, we're gonna send Justin Sims after them. <laughs> <laughs> He'll let them know they're fucking up. Hey, we we we've given him a little bit of a shit, but yeah, he was we, absolutely right. We, we've come out the other side, yeah, with a better product. Whoops, and man, way better cocktail. And I I told him I was like. Um, uh, talking about Justin, uh, when we uh, went to his tattoo parlor, when my son was in town, when it, when I was telling him that uh, we were like, like, what the hell is he talking about? It's simple syrup. What could be more simple than a store bought simple syrup? It's so simple. And then, uh, and then we thought, well, I mean, how are we going to know until we try it out ourselves? Yeah. And then we tried it, and yeah, he couldn't have been more right. Yeah. I told him that right there in his in his studio. So. Um, there's absolutely no bad blood. Nobody's talking shit. Nobody's saying anything that nobody would say in front of mm -hmm. somebody's to the to their face. So no fucking bad blood there. But, and, uh, and and good choice, man. He this, was absolutely right. And this Demerara syrup fucking slaps. This maple cask rye, yeah, from West Bottom Whiskey Company. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That that is an old fashioned right there. Yeah. That that's an old fashioned. So freaking good. That is going to be tough to beat by anyone. So I'm going to have to uh, two point We will do the orange bitters smoked infused. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Whatever you else you want to. Yeah. Yeah. Two uh, two. What is it? Two drops orange bitters smoked in the cap. Fuck. Throw it on there. Smoke it. Whatever. I don't even. I don't even think it needs. I it. mean, just thinking. It doesn't of, need it, but. It doesn't need it, but man, I mean, just thinking, I, and I, and I, I don't know why I had never even thought about that. With all the smoked cocktails I've done, mm -hmm. it never occurred to me to smoke the bitters. To smoke the bitters into the the wood chips. I would have never and, thought. And, never and occurred all, to me either. All the bitters, the orange bitters, that can't go anywhere but right. up. Right, because we have torched citrus before we right. put uh, sugar on it and torch the shit out of it yeah and use that as a garnish and that was, it was freaking good. amazing yeah so like why, why yeah we, we? We, did, we did some of the the raw demerara sugar on the orange yeah. slice mm -hmm. and then just torched that i don't it's been so long i don't remember what which cocktail that was but i do remember it that was uh that was with the jim beam uh devil's cut it was the dance with the devil cocktail and we we pretty much covered the orange slice with the raw demerara sugar and then just torched the hell out of it, turning mm -hmm. it into a creme brulee kind of a And it turned candy. out great. It, yeah. it turned out great looking. But, man, back to this old this old fashion. Yeah, yeah. You know, Wayne Wizardfingers Wilkes <laughs> <laughs> will be able to. I know that's a recycled nickname, whatever, but fuck. This is... This is that. What did you get up and do? Did you add more bourbon to it? No, I I wanted a photo of a single glass. Okay, okay, good call. Yeah, this is uh, this is a really good. This is a really fucking good, old fashioned. Recently, I say recently, it's been months now. Um, um, a friend of the band, Lloyd Leon Kerr the uh, Third, we mm -hmm. went to his uh, or I went to his uh, his first degree in uh, Freemasonry. Oh yeah, in uh, Raytown Raytown Lodge. So he became a, a brother through promise and prayer, as it goes. Anybody familiar with Freemasonry knows exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, if not, well, 
that's all you're going to get from me. <laughs> but afterwards, we went through, uh, or we went to the Naughty Pine in Raytown. It was like right around the corner. And um, we Is started. That the Naughty Pine? The Naughty. N A U T H. Or Naughty. 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 The Naughty Pine. N A U T H T Y. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to clarify. Yes. Naughty. <laughs> They've got a pool table right when you walk in to the left. They got a pretty cool looking bar. Um, but um, I had an old fashioned with um, Angel's Envy. You know, I haven't had Angel's Envy neat, but um, I have had it in an old fashioned. That's next week. The way, yeah, right. <laughs> Dear listener, you got a little, little heads listener. up as to what's coming up. Anyway, so this cocktail here with the with the maple rye. The maple cask finished rye uh, bourbon from West Bottoms Whiskey Company would give that Angel's Envy old fashioned uh, run for its money. It's similar, but this is so good that she didn't. I mean, she didn't know um, that we're kind of a big deal here in, in, in Saber the Bird Studios. But we had uh, we had a, a, a mighty fine um, mixologist here named uh, fucking Wayne Mixologist. Wilkes. <laughs> so um oh my goodness on the nose it's it's mapley it's sweet it's got um it's got some of that bourbon that classic bourbon kind of or kind of whiskey kind of smell to it um on the palate it's sweet it's 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 rich i'm not in, gonna lie in great ways i i was i was worried that the rich demerara mm -hmm. and the maple were going to have a fist fight Really and 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 not play well together and and it would be weird or just I don't, yeah I don't know but the the demerara is still there very prominent mm -hmm. and the maple finish just kind of said come here I want a hug yeah it's the drunken hug yeah it's the I've had a little bit of whiskey now I want to hug you I love you man and you're inside um, the the uh, like all that is happening within the social gathering space of the chocolate bitters right that that helps keep everything kind of tied together and then the hair of orange bitters yeah giving it that citrus nose and marrying it to mm -hmm. the dehydrated orange sitting yeah. on top yeah it's everything in this cocktail works together yeah from from nose to presentation this thing is uh it's beautiful it's beautiful how many you put in four dashes of chocolate bitters mm -hmm. per cocktail mm-hmm all right, all right. If anything were to change on this, and yes. feel free to disregard this at you know at will, but I'd go down to three dashes, okay, and no demerara, just to see what happens. Okay, just to see what happens. Yeah, not that it was too much uh, simple syrup. It just I'm just wondering what it would taste like without it. I bet it would taste just fine. And I this cocktail might, might be, right. be too sweet for certain people. A lot of people can't handle things that yep. are just too yep. sweet. And this, to me, tastes like something that somebody would say, Oh, that's too sweet. I don't like it. Fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, no, no, uh, no. Joke we, them we, if they can't take a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we are accepting to all cocktail drinkers. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, you, you may have an opinion, and your opinion may be like ours or may not, but they're all shit. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma used to say, opinions are like assholes. They all stink <laughs> for the same reason. <laughs> yeah, so nose, I'm putting it at a five. Palette, five. Actually, I'm giving everything. A, this is a ten. This is another ten cocktail for me. I have zero complaints. Uh, the whole damn thing jumped out. Jumped, five five jumped, across the board. Five across the board. The whole damn thing wowed me at every, every, every point of uh, evaluation. I have no complaints. I'm totally stoked. So if you're listening to this uh, this bonus episode, dear listener, thank you for listening. And uh, definitely uh, pick up at least some of these ingredients from our store, savertheburn.com slash shop. And uh, get yourself some... Uh, are the cherries in the, in the shop? Oh, yeah. You better okay, so the, Yeah, get yourself some, some of these uh, the Woodford, Woodford Reserve barrel-aged cherries. Those are a staple. You get the dehydrated orange slices. You can't live without those. Right, right. And get this uh, maple... Cask finished rye, uh, West Bottoms Whiskey Company whiskey. Uh, before you can't get it anymore because it it's uh, it's That'd be looking a shame. like it might be a limited time offer thing, limited release. And yeah, that bums me out. But two, I'm glad I was I was born and alive in a time where these things were available 
to us. Where did you come in on, on your, uh, your evaluations? So I gave it a four and three quarters on the nose. All right. I gave it a four and three quarters on the palate. Am I sensing a pattern? No. Oh, okay. All I right. gave it a five on the finish. Fuck yeah. The finish is... Uh-huh. And this is my first giving my own cocktail... Five. You can't. It can't. You got. It has a skull. It got. Yeah. It's got a skull headed skewer. It's got this this cool looking. Uh, the cocktail glass itself is cool. The dehydrated orange slice. Mm-hmm. I I hand picked the perfect slices out of the, the perfect the container. slices. The perfect cherries. So I came in at a nine and three quarters. You got the the square ice and the in mm-hmm. the round. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not so square anymore, but it was <laughs> it was square when we started. So what was your overall score? 9 and 3 quarters. 9 and 3 quarters. Man, that's probably the highest cocktail score rating I I think you've you've overall rating uh, you've given any cocktail we've ever had. I'm fucking stoked. It, yeah, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with this um, West Bottoms whiskey maple cask finished rye it's just it's stupid good. It's stupid good neat and it's it's stupid good in a cocktail. So I would I would guess this would go great in a Manhattan, but it it, it goes great in this uh, in this old fashioned. You, you'd be hard pressed to find a, a better a better alternative when it comes to Kansas City whiskey, and that's that's coming from somebody who's really only had two of the Kansas City whiskey distilleries. I've had Riegers, uh, their original, uh, just just plain old Riegers. Uh, it was either bourbon or whiskey. It's been so long, I've already forgotten. But uh, it's it's just it's so damn good. I was just saying that you'd be hard pressed to uh, to find a better a better whiskey to uh, to to use for for neat or or in use of a cocktail. It wasn't just the old fashioned and the Manhattan. What else could you use this for? It's another fairly common one. I think a Boulevardier. Boulevardier, yeah, yeah. So that one, and I'd even go as far as a, a as a horse feather would probably do great with this too. Yeah. I really don't see any the end horse feather to with, the with with just that subtle maple. Yeah. On top of it? Yeah. Like yeah, I would use Every lemon day. and not lime on that, but definitely. This thing's like a sore dick. <laughs> can't beat it. You can't beat it. <laughs> thank thank you Jared for that. <laughs> I want to get my my I want to get my cherry in the whiskey. It popped my cherry popped out of the whiskey there for a second. Actually, it looks like there's no way it's going to get in there. <laughs> I mean, to, to to me, the thing I love the most about a old fashioned is because it is so simple, and because it it forces whatever spirit you use to be f- front and center. Right, and we wouldn't, we really wouldn't want it any other way. Right, because of that, whatever you use really changes the same cocktail a thousand different ways. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This with Elijah Craig. This right. with Jefferson's Reserve. Mm-hmm. This with High West. This High West with Maker's Mark. Or this with Blanton's. Blanton's, yeah. It's going to be so different every mm-hmm. time because the whiskey you use with it becomes center stage. Mm-hmm. And that, it's probably the most common cocktail you're going to find out there. Right. Besides like a whiskey and Coke. That said, West Bottom, I think their, their original Kansas City whiskey mm-hmm. or this maple cask finished rye, either one, it, it's it's top of mm-hmm. the list of old fashions. Mm-hmm. If, if you were to start rating Use the exact same ingredients. Build them the exact same way. This one's going to come out on top mm-hmm. every time. It is so good. It pairs so well with all these ingredients. Mm-hmm. I think it might be fun to make uh, make a, a batch recipe of this stuff and uh, take it up to uh, Gold Cathedral. Be like, all right, mister, I don't like whiskey. I don't like bourbon. Try M- this. Mr. Sims, try it. <laughs> Try it. Tell mm-hmm. me what you think. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm I'm looking at the bottle, mm-hmm. and I think that is right at or just a little over two cups worth. My my old fashioned batch uh, recipe calls for two cups of whiskey. Oh, it takes that much. Uh huh. That to me looks like that's real close, if not just a little bit more than two cups of whiskey. I could turn that into a batch. Mm-hmm. I might have done that by the time you come back over. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I would not blame you because I mean, you probably also need another bottle of it. Well, I my my, my I mean, it's the really empty, good. The empty West Bottoms bottle that I used at my birthday, mm-hmm. I've this last weekend I uh, made a new batch with Elijah Craig. Okay. Thank you, Ben and Ashley. Mm-hmm. And that turned out really good. Mm. I, that one, I used the... Um, the Fuck, what, what bitters are those? The cardamom bitters. Oh, huh. I used the, the, the Fee Brothers cardamom bitters, which is considered a pre-prohibition style bitters. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I wonder it, how that it, differs. You said it's Fee it's, Brothers? Mm-hmm. Love Fee Brothers. They have yeah. so many different options. They've they got, got the so many different. Cornered. I have not purchased yet because I'm still waiting for it to pop up on Amazon. Even even on their their own website, I've seen them promoting it, but I have not seen them for sale yet. I want their new habanero bitters. Oh wow! They have a habanero bitters. Hmm. That sounds. I love. I love hot and spicy. So mm-hmm. that sounds fantastic to me. But this particular bitters. The uh, uh, cardamom, C A R D A M O N, cardamom mm-hmm. bitters. It is it, slightly different than the Agostera aromatic bitters, but it is supposedly more reminiscent of the pre prohibition style hmm. bitters. Hmm. Oh, to have a time really, machine. really good. We had, if we had access to a time machine, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah. I'd be buying Bitcoin in 1950. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one of these days, maybe, you know, I, that's the hard thing with this because there, there's no end. We, we mm-hmm. can keep going and going and going and going. You can only have so many drinks in a set time frame. Mm-hmm. But I think it would actually be fun to just put a line together of old fashions, mm. exact same recipe. Yeah. This one with aromatic bitters. This one with chocolate bitters. This one with cardamom bitters. Mm-hmm. Black walnut bitters. The new um, uh, Turkish tobacco mm-hmm. bitters, mm-hmm. which is amazing. Mm. I, I made an old fashioned the other night with that one, and that one is that's another conversation for another right. time because right. there's so so many new flavors that that are in that one, but um, the Vanilla bark cherry bitters, but do a whole line of old fashions mm-hmm. with all these different ones. Don't have to have you know you don't have to finish all of them, but just mm-hmm. sample them down the yep. road. Maybe have one cocktail and everybody's got a straw. Yeah, but do that and and do a side by side comparison of bitters mm-hmm. in cocktail. Mm-hmm. That way you can see what it is that the bitters had to offer to the cocktail. Right. I mean, I... Instead of just the whiskey, because we always try to make it to where the, the whiskey or the bourbon or, mm-hmm. or, the, or whatever has... That is center stage, yep. and everything else kind of dances yep. around it. Do all of them with the same whiskey. Yeah, same thing. So the only difference is what the bitters is. Mm-hmm. I've got a peach bitters. I've got a grapefruit bitters. Yeah. I've got a cranberry bitters. And I've got a, a cherry, angostura, and peach. Yeah, and you've got like all the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're in the Kansas City area, go up to Red X in uh, North Kansas City, up there on Riverside. Do, area. do they carry the Fee Brothers? Yeah, they do, and they've That's got awesome. like they've got you know ten, fifteen different ones. And so Fee Brothers, I think they have another company also. So recently, Fee Brothers has started putting out uh, different um, uh, waters. So there's they have a. Uh, a rose water, a lavender water, a all these mm. different flavored waters, and we haven't dove into cocktails that have some of the the other flavored waters as an mm-hmm. ingredient. But that's a whole nother thing. Yeah, now my mind's thinking like if you take a, a rosemary infused water and uh, make ice cubes out of it. Shit, what could that do to your your cocktail? Right, because we've had uh, what is it, first frost that had mm-hmm. uh, a sprig of of rosemary on it. Maybe we didn't use a, a sprig of rosemary, but we used the rosemary water in the ice cube. Yeah, and it slowly released throughout throughout the whole, you know, time and, you're you're drinking the cocktail. And that particular cocktail didn't have any ice in the glass. No, it didn't. In the shaker, but in the shaker, yeah. 
yeah, maybe you'd have plenty rosemary. If you put a sprig on top of it, it'd just be overkill. That was the end of your your cocktail. So good. So good. Now fold that orange in half and eat it. Did it, did it Oh, get you've a, already done that. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Did it get a chance to soak? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. It's... it's... Crunchy. It's good, ain't it? So good. It's like eating a fruit leather, you mm-hmm. know, of some kind. And then maybe, you know, it's time for that Woodford Reserve barrel-aged cherry. I very specifically... That we sell in the shop. Mm-hmm. Savertheburn.com slash shop. I very specifically... S- scroll down and find it. If you it, had not noticed... Throw it in your Amazon cart. I very deliberately... Buy it. Pulled out cherries out of the, the jar... You won't be sorry. ...that had the stem still on there. Mm-hmm. The stem adds a little something. Because this... I wanted that. I wanted the stem to add to the presentation. Mm-hmm. There went the stem. Now it's chewing on it. He's thinking about God it. Damn. This boy has ascended to at least the first level of heaven. He'll be back. He'll be back, everybody. Just give him this moment. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Man. Mm-hmm. Any closing thoughts on this one? Two thumbs up. Yeah, this is a run, do not walk. Uh, cocktail. Ten Get, out of ten. Ten out of ten. Well, we'll me, make again. For me, it was a nine and three quarter for you. It was. Yeah, nine and three quarter for W two. A ten out of ten for me. Uh, definitely run. Do not walk because there's no telling how long this is going to last. The West Bottoms Whiskey Company Maple Cask Finished Rye Whiskey. Make yourself an old fashioned with it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is great. Uh, I have zero complaints. You have zero complaints. Man, this no. is a top-notch fucking cocktail, especially with this West Bottoms whiskey maple cask finished rye. Um, there's nothing to complain about. Nothing. 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 So, thank you for listening to this uh, podcast. Uh, please uh, feel free to share with anybody who might be on the fence as to whether or not they want to try out anything from West Bottoms whiskey. Uh, this bonus episode and also the episodes where we actually do the full-on review. Uh, since there are so very few reviews on the on the maple cask finished rye, um, definitely check check ours out for sure. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for listening. Uh, definitely check this cocktail out. No matter who it is that you're drinking with, spending your time with, who you're with, where you are, what you're doing, what you're drinking, if it's not this, which it should be. But always remember, dear listener, keep, keep on, on burning. burning.